Hey, it's Mike from Maker Moose here. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be making a monochromatic card today for a birthday card. I have some Ranger Ultra Thick Embossing Powder and a Distress Dauber. You can use any embossing pad like Wow or Versafine. So I'm going to use the dauber to add some embossing ink to the edges of the card. This is to keep them nice and white. You'll see later that I kind of wish I hadn't because I had to improvise and the um, focal point didn't end up having white edges to match, but that's okay. So I'm just dipping in the ultra thick and heating it up. I do this a couple of times just to get a nice thick even coat. Now I've got some Tiny Prince stamps from Stampers Anonymous here. There's two different stamps that come in that set. I'm using the Mustard Seed Distress Oxide here. I'm wanting a very nice, vibrant card here, very bright. I'm just swiping along the surface here and then dabbing for some evenness. I'm using the exact same color here. Um, this is one of the bold botanical stamps, again from Stampers Anonymous. So th these are red rubber stamps I'm using today. I've used uh, both the tiny prints and the bold botanicals so much, I really think this is an invaluable set. Now, usually I do a thicker border when I'm doing um, these focal point on a card, but because I really wanted more of the tiny prints background to show, I'm actually trimming this a little shorter than I normally would. I'm now mounting some adhesive foam to the back just to add a little bit of dimension. Now, this is where I made my mistake either on my glass mat there or on one of my fingers was some distress oxide. Uh, so um, as I turn it over here, you'll see I, I got some smudges on the edge there uh, on my nice white clean edge, which is the whole reason I put the embossing powder on the background was to mimic the white edges. So I'm deciding, do I restamp or do I improvise? Here I'm improvising. So I'm just adding some more of that mustard seed around the edge. Um, not too much to make it, it as dark as the image. It still definitely brings your eye to that center image, so that's great. Just as something different, I'll show you what sometimes I do on the inside of my cards and on the envelopes. So I have a stamped sentiment here, just on an insert card. This one says happy birthday. This is actually from a Simon Hurley stamp set called Birthday Basics. And I'm just putting that Stampers Anonymous print on top. Now this is the other one um, that comes in the set. And I'm using my Simon Hurley piggyback dye ink here. Uh, and this is the lightest color ink that I have. I was looking through my oxides, but I didn't have a light enough color. So I'm using my Simon Hurley's. I just want a very faint impression. And then going back just in certain areas to add sporadic little dots just to deepen color in some areas for a more rustic look. So here's the finished card. Now that that print, it does show up a lot more in person, but it's light enough that I can write over with pen no problem. And here for the envelope, I'm going to tie in the same background stamp that I used on the card on the flap of the envelope here. So I'm just taping it down with some craft tape. And so that craft tape is going to make sure I don't accidentally stamp on the front of the envelope. And so I've got some spun sugar distress oxide here. Just going to stamp this down for a subtle finishing touch.
So here's the envelope front and back. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.